obviously a very dramatic week when it comes to the results of the top four. What, I mean, what did the results this week tell you about the type of race that you think? I think that, uh, you know, we are in a more competitive uh, league on the wall. Um, we can see last night and, and, and Tuesday that how competitive is the, the Premier League. And uh, it's tough to be on the, on the top. Um, I think that we missed a good opportunity last night. I think that uh, maybe we not play uh, in the way maybe that uh, we, we show in the last few games. Um, but we play um, well in the second half, uh, but we missed the, the, fir the first half to be more aggressive and, and try to score uh, only one shoot on target. And this is um, that we need to improve for the next game. We have um, ahead uh, um, a lot of game, but um, I think that Saturday is a very important game to keep our position in, on, this, on, on the table. Why do you think you missed the opportunity? Did you sense nerves? No nerves. Uh, it's difficult to play every game um, um, in the intensity or on the level that we normally we play. Um, um, but I am happy for the effort because the effort was was fantastic last night. Um, but um, it's difficult to 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 play in in in, in, in a circumstance that were very difficult. Uh, it's a, I think that happened a lot of things that was was difficult to play. But when you analyze and you are called on the in front uh, in front of the screen and the TV, um, uh, maybe. I'm, I am more happy now than last night because I think that the effort was good and we deserve more. But uh, if we, you didn't score, it's difficult to, to get some positive things. It is a different look to the top of the Premier League table. How well equipped do you think your players are in coping with the pressure and everything a, a title race brings with it? No, I, I think that our player, the squad, is, 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 uh, is confidence. Um, I think only was uh, one game. Um, um, obviously, the, our four defeat on the on, on, on the Premier, and um, from the beginning of the season, I think that uh, it's not to feel the pressure um, to be on the top. Um, it's some time that uh, it's impossible to keep. Uh, play in the way that maybe we play in Swansea or again Fiorentina, um, no, um, for different reason. But the, the most important thing is that we try in the second half. We try to create the chance. We have the chance. Uh, unlucky no, no score, but uh, I think I don't feel that the player or the squad uh, uh, feel that um, uh, the pressure to to play for the for the top. Do you still still feel? Uh, you, you never know. I think that we have 10 games. Um, um, it's a lot of points uh, to play. And, and you know, uh, uh, football can happen uh, everything. And you need to keep working hard and, and look at us and try to improve every game. Are Manchester City still in it? I think all the, um, the team that are, uh, I think, mathematic, mathematic um, possibility have, uh, why not? But, you know, um, um, but I, I think it's not important today if City or different club are on the race. I think it's important us um, to try to to be focused for win the next game, a tef, tough game against Arsenal. Moving on to Arsenal, they have received a lot of criticism in the last week. Do you sense they could be vulnerable? Going into this I didn't hear the criticism. Only I can see that this, uh, the derby are always are different, and um, is um, we are not affected for the past, um, and they sure uh, too. And uh, the derby is the derby is a different game, different environment. Um, um, we know and they know that uh, it's a, a very exciting game and an important game because uh, it means more than three points. No, I think that uh, all Derby London are, are exciting. Um, last night too, but uh, now uh, the another Derby London are, are on the pass, and the more exciting game is the the next. Petr Cech and Laurent Koscielny out of the game. How big a blow do you think that is for Arsenal? Well, I think that you play 
um, against Arsenal, in, no against um, different player. It's like uh, for them, uh, we have some injury player that they play against uh, Tottenham, no, with against some player. I think um, for me, it's, it's not important. We need to be aware um, because always it's important to know uh, because uh, it's true that the player are different, but uh, on the end, we play against Arsenal in, and they play against Tottenham. Maybe, maybe yes. We need to assess tomorrow the last training session, but um, maybe it's possible that it's available to be uh, selected. Have you any other team news ahead of the No, no. So far, okay. Um, after the game, all players um, feel good and are fit uh, for tomorrow, but uh, we need tomorrow assess them after the training session for take the, the decision. And Richard, do you think it's tougher for London teams going for a league title that so many intense derbies to play, you think, for Tottenham, Arsenal, West Ham, Chelsea, and you compare that to perhaps Leicester? Is it tough with so many intense derbies? No, no, I think no. Uh, cannot affect that. Um, it's true that uh, because we play in Europa League and we have different competition, more than the, maybe the Leicester, um, um, all people can uh, all people can say that uh, maybe it's more difficult for the team that uh, like Arsenal or, or City or, or United or Chelsea or, or, or Liverpool or us. Um, it's a tougher uh, period now, but uh, you know it's not an excuse. Uh, we need to try to to win every game. I'm seeing that we have a strong squad, um, and we need to show that we deserve on then. Um, and then it's football, and sometimes it's a a small percentage that you cannot manage uh, always, um, but always it's important to believe and now um, to think in the next game and forget the, the last game. And just finally, how much incentive is there for you and your players that if you do beat your rivals, it essentially makes it very difficult for them to win the league? Do you think that realistically could be Arsenal? You could help to put Arsenal out of the title race? I think for us it's important. Uh, we are not focused on our opponent. Um, we are focusing us. I think it's important to get the three point uh, Saturday for us, not for to damage uh, our opponent. Um, and uh, the more exciting, exciting thing is that uh, if we are capable to to win the game. Um, maybe we will be in a, in a, in a good position. Um, but uh, never to think in to damage the opponent is always uh, because it's good for us. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe yes. Um, again, um, he he played the uh, last night, uh, thirty minutes, and today is good. But no, still we need to assess him for t tomorrow. Yes, we hope the same, that the same response. And uh, but the players are okay, uh, sad and disappointed for the last result. But uh, they they know that uh, it's impossible to stop. Uh, the competition uh, doesn't stop, and, and and we need to to be ready for compete again. And um, we will expect a very tough game against Arsenal. Um, it's another derby, and uh, you know. We need full energy for try to to play in the way that we play and try to to deserve on the end the, uh, to win the game. What was the feeling like today? In the training no, the the feeling is is good because uh, we finished the game last night. Uh, I think the the, the the last 45 minutes we play much better than 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 West Ham, but the the whole game I think that the, in the way that we concede the goal maybe is, uh, we feel very disappointed for that. Uh, because uh, they don't do too much, they don't make too much uh, for a score. Uh, only was uh, access pieces and create some chance from outside to the box. I think that we manage the game. We have uh, more than 65% of possession of the ball uh, in the, in their pitch on uh, in the stadium. But um, you know we have lack of um, um, aggressivity on the, the last thirds, and maybe this is was that. Uh, 
because the, uh, we got the negative, the negative result. But um, the players are, uh, are good, uh, feel disappointed, but um, they hope uh, or they wait for the next game to try to, to show uh, or to show that uh, we are in a, in a good moment. Chris. One year ago, we always spoke about uh, to reduce the gap with the top four. And now we are on the second on the table. And who knows uh, what will happen in the future. Now we need to, to be focused on the present. But uh, it's sure that Tottenham next, next season is it's sure that it's better, will be better than, than today. And, but uh, we need to enjoy about life, about football, about all. Life is present, football is present. It's not tomorrow. And um, we cannot spend time, uh, to waste time to think in the future, you never know. Whereas for Leicester it's very unusual. They've kind of got used to the fact they've been top for so long throughout the season. They have people expecting them to, to fall away. But for Tottenham it was only really when you beat Manchester City that people started to say they could actually win the league. Are you surprised to find yourself in this situation? If I am surprised about... In a situation where you could actually win the league? No, no, no surprise. <laughs> because uh, from the beginning of the season, when you start the, the, the season, always you want to win or you shop or you do everything for try to win the, every game. And when you are ambitious and you have the right mentality, everything can happen in football. And only you need to try and never give up and always believe. And this is, is in, this is, is our uh, mentality, always believe that can happen. And uh, only I can say that. For them. Yeah, for Arsenal. Will it be an advantage? They're more used to, they haven't won the league for a long time, but they're more used to having these kind of title matches where they're still in with a shout in March. Will that be an advantage for Difficult to know if they have a player that uh, have the habit to play for win the title, and what's happened against Manchester United or against Swansea last night, uh, you know. And and for us, we we are capable to to beat to beat to beat uh, Manchester City away. And for la last night was difficult. I think sometimes we use a lot of topic on football, a lot a lot of topics. No, and you know, football is simple. It's not too complicated. Uh, you you have a lot of example, no, a lot of example, and in different clubs, sometimes sign a, a player or a manager that uh, with a big background, a big trophy on, on behind, and sometimes success and sometimes no. And you never know. Football is no ordinary business. All can happen. If you win on Saturday, Last one, Chris. Do you think that, that's it for Arsenal? Is it between you and Leicester now if you win on Saturday? I think it's not a decisive game. It's a very important for us and for them. But it's not... Um, all can happen after that. It's not the last game or the last... That we have ahead only two games to try to, to, to achieve and seem. Um, after uh, Saturday, it's nine games on Premier League. It's a lot, 27 points. Get one from Tom at the back, though. It's, uh, it's always a very heated atmosphere in a, in a North London derby. How, how important is it that this young Tottenham team keep very calm heads as well that way? Yes, I, I think that we, 
we play every every game with a special atmosphere. Um, and um, last season we were capable to 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 win the game and it was an unbelievable atmosphere on the on the on the pitch. And today we have the same the same team and the same player, uh, but with more experience. And I think it's not the problem um, for Saturday. Uh, have a, a big atmosphere on, on the pitch. I think that the play for the player are are good to feel that the, the ground is in behind us. Dan to wrap it up. Uh, Marisa, last season in the North London Derby, Nadal Vanderlaan uh, got the assist for the winner. Is that just the same for Nadal and Nadal It's um, football is present. It's like uh, my answer before. It's present. It's uh, today. Our decision was that that uh, he asked for play on the under 21, and we give the possibility because yesterday wasn't on the list, and um, it's uh, nothing, any, any, no problem, and only that uh, football is present, and and we need to take a decision. Yes, why not? Uh, tomorrow they're training with us and, and 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 can be on the on the on the list. The same for Nabil. Maybe Nabil tomorrow is on the list. But this is his, uh, our plan about the player. Always look after the player, and we give the best for to keep fit and and try to be competitive if we need. Okay, this game is the biggest game, the biggest game. 